Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything and the programs that you write. Today, you're going to create your own characters. When I created this game, I had to create these alien characters. They weren't already in Scratch. I had to create these bullets to shoot the aliens and the arrows to make my rocket ship move. Today you're going to create your own character. I'm going to show you how by creating this spinner. You will need the Scratch Junior app on your iPad, Android tablet, or computer. Scratch Junior is a free download and you'll have to get it so that you can do coding with us. Launch Scratch Junior and click on the home icon. Click on the plus to start a new project. You can hold your finger down on whatever character is on the screen and click the X to delete it. Up here you can pick any background that you want. We've done that on all the exercises that we've done so far. The new thing that we're going to do today is learn how to draw our own characters. You can put characters on the screen right here by clicking this plus. The ones up at the top are the ones that I've created. You'll see the alien that I used and the arrows that I used to do that game. These are all the characters that come with Scratch Junior. But if they don't have the character that you want or you want to draw your own, you can just click on this little paintbrush. These are different shapes that you can make. This squiggly line means that you can draw whatever kind of squiggly line or straight line or anything that you want. This left arrow undoes things that you do. The right arrow will redo it back. This circle thing makes a circle. Square thing makes a square or a rectangle. Triangle, you guessed it. If I pick a different color, then I can be doing the same kind of thing in the other color. These change how thick it is. So if I have a triangle picked and a really thick line, and the color red is going to draw me a thick tri red triangle. This bucket over here dumps a bucket of paint inside whatever you want. I'll pick some yellow paint. And if this is the character that I like, I could put it right on my screen. And like the other character, I can hold down on this and delete it. And I want to do a different character. The spinner thing that I made is a little tricky. I need a circle in the middle. And it really has to be in the middle of my screen. Or it's going to wobble. So I just use a circle and drag a little red circle there. I want the blades of my spinner to be blue and instead of dragging a circle I'll make those an oval shape and I want to fill it in with blue and then I don't have to keep drawing a bunch of different blades I can take my stamp tool which is really just a copy and copy that copy it again how many blades do we need? About five. The arrow will let me drag things away to wherever I want. This rotate lets me rotate them. And then pick my select tool and drag them. Now 
What I'm drawing for you today is a little complicated, but you can draw anything that you want. When I'm happy with what I've drawn, I'll click the check to save it, and it sticks it right there on the screen. Now I want a stem to hold up my spinner, so I have to have another character that's just the stick. And you'll see in my other project I did already have a stick. But I'm going to do a new stick. We will have blue's fine. We'll make it about this thick. And it needs to come from the middle. About right there. Whoops. Got to pick my drawing line. I want my spinner to be in front. So a lot of times we have this green flag to start our programs. But today I want the spinner to spin whenever I touch it. Whenever I tap on it or whenever I click on it with my arrow. So once I click on it, it's going to spin and keep doing that. So that would be good if it was a windmill. If the wind just kept blowing it and blowing it. But what I want to do today... is make it spin when I touch it. So I'm going to tell it to just spin a little bit 50 times. This, you'll remember, makes it go faster. If I pick the one on the right, it goes faster. So it's going to spin 50 times faster. Then I'm going to slow it down a little bit. and then make it spin about 20 more times. And then slow it down even more and spin about five more times. So I want to make it look like I touch it and then it spins for a while and then it slows down, and then it finally stops. And then if I touch it again, it goes fast, and slows down, and stops. So, it says, do the code whenever you touch it. Make the spinner go really fast for 50 times, then medium speed for 20 times, and then slow speed for 5 more times. Let's look at the different parts in the paint editor. This first one over here, if you click on this, that'll help you undo something that you've done. And if you change your mind, then this arrow to the right will redo something that you've undone. All of these are different shapes that you can make. I'm going to number four. You can change the name of whatever it is that you've drawn right here. The scissors cut something, basically delete it. This stamp makes another copy of something. You use seven, these arrows, to rotate something, make it spin around. Arrow selects something, and then you can drag it around and move it around on the screen. Nine is you click the check whenever you want to save something. 10 is a paint bucket. Whenever you want to fill in something a certain color, you just dump a bucket of paint on it. 11 is a camera. Whenever you want to take a picture of what you've done. 12, all of these are all the different colors that you have available. 
13, these are all the different lines that you have. If you want a really thick line, you would pick this one. If you want a really thin line, you would pick this one. If we go to this old project I did a long time ago, and we wanted to pretend that the students in here were learning some math, I could create a math problem in here. I'm going to select the black marker and this squiggly line means I can write whatever I want. I'm going to write 1 plus 1 and save that and it put that right on my screen. If we wanted some birds flying in the sky for this project, I could go to create a new sprite, click on the paintbrush, Ooh, I didn't like the way that one turned out. Neither one of those. Let's cut those out. Do you ever draw a bird like that? Cut that. And draw with the black. All right, I'll save my birds. We need to make them smaller, too. They're flying out of that tree right there. There. Now it's your turn. What would you like to draw? After you create your character, you could, of course, make it jump or roll or do whatever you want. But the main point of this lesson is to be able to draw your own character. And if you can draw your own character, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free kids coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Subscribe, watch more lessons, and keep practicing, and soon you will be creating new worlds and games and making your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time.